Roll, roll back, restart. All right, first day on the job. Um, things happen, you know. So here we go. We are going to. <laughs> we're gonna start over. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, this is Bless Unleashed. And to be honest, I haven't really ever played the original one. Um, the only thing I've ever played as far as Bless was I just came back from vacation and I played a little bit of the mobile game. Um, it just dropped today on Steam. I have had in, in my wish list for a bit, so I, I knew of it, but I wasn't like fully watching it. Um, Apparently this game has been out for like Xbox and PlayStation or at one point it was like supposed to be an Xbox exclusive, but then they released it on PC. So with that, we're just going to jump back into it where I was at. I was creating a character, but I was muted. So uh, yeah, but there's there's four class or five classes. You got your Crusader, Berserker, Ranger, Mage and Priest. Um, some of them are race locked in this case like varg is the only one that can be a berserker crusader can be a human or ippin i guess um yeah mages which can be humans or elves and priests can be human or ippins um i am going to create a elf and that's what i was in the process of making but i will just start fresh anyways so yeah um, uh, let me see. So I was messing around for a bit here, but I guess looking over these again when it isn't a horrible idea. That's the one that I was using, but let me see if there's a better suited one, um, for creating my character. You can really go all out on like the arm length and, uh, definition of the body <laughs> and a lot of stuff. In reality, um, only few things that I'm going to do here really are change color of the eyes. It's eyeball color. Iris color, that's what I was trying to change. Nose, no, mouth, no, hair, hairstyle. I was gonna go with this one. Hair one. Bump that down. Bump that down. Hair gloss, turn that all the way up. Because I think that makes it less glossy. Like, yeah. The higher it is, the less glossy it is. Because if you release it, then it gets like that. Which is weird, but whatever. Honestly, this default looks pretty good. Yeah, I think so too. Um, I just want to make some of my, you know, my own personalization to it too. So, but I do think it is a good default. Um, what I was going to do is this tattoo right here. Then voice the type, on our side. upbeat adventure, I have a, way. a little lower. Body type, height, and size. Oh my giant head. Here we go. Perfect. We're going to be a little tall. Not crazy tall. A little bit. Muscle definition. All the way up. Skin color. We'll turn it down. Actually, can you be like a drow? Ooh. Kind of can. do that right there you could be a little shiny too definitely doing some tattoos i think this one is the one that i liked intensity make sure that's all the way up upper body and let me check one other thing here wow i can't believe i was muted this whole time would you ever get a face tattoo irl nah well, 
Nah, nah. I probably personally would not. Um, in another life. <laughs> Yo, workaholic, thank you for the follow there. Appreciate it. Um in another life, possibly. But not too sure, not too sure. Um Yeah. Uh so yeah, as you can see up here, uh I do have a new overlay. Um Nerd or Die came out with this. Um I've actually tried making one in the past like this. So this number five right here, if it hits seven, which any action I believe increases it, if it hits seven, then the logo actually changes. Um, on the left here is the recent follower. So after the notification goes off, um, then their name gets put over here. And then on the right here, recent sub and how many months uh, sub. So I think it's, uh, pretty cool I've, I've been wanting a uh, overlay like this for quite a while now um so it's it's hap i'm happy that they finally came out with something that uh looks like what i was actually trying to get for a while ago um i think i'm actually gonna go more towards like purple yeah let's do that i think that seems cool uh upper body This is where we got a little bit bulkier arm length. Arm length, we didn't want like crazy long because you can get long, long <laughs> like that all the way. Or you can go really short or long or short. I'm going to go like a little bit shorter. But a good like happy medium, I think. I uh, definitely make them arms big and strong or as strong as we can get them should give your character some dummy thick so thighs <laughs> i actually didn't get as far as the thighs last time so we'll have to wait and see what they got i feel like this guy's head is going to be so small compared to his body is there a yeah here it is head size slash height Maybe that's a little bit better. Or how about that? Ginormous head? Or tiny head? Super tall, tiny head? Super tall, ginormous head? That's probably better. Right there. Yeah, I think that's a better call. We're gonna be like huge, I can already tell. Uh, or so we'll leave this like towards the right, I guess. Or like right there, it's fine. Hip size, don't even see it really making a difference. We'll leave that right there. Let's do that. Foot size, right there. Boom. Preview costume. Sure. That looks good enough to me, I guess. Boom. Can't tell if audio is delayed or not. Might be fine. I'm tripping. Uh, you might not be, to be honest. Uh, let me actually grab my phone and check. I was getting blown up for a few minutes there. So I put, actually put my phone on do not disturb. So, uh, yeah, I was getting calls. I was getting all types of stuff. Um, let me see what we got here. Which I usually know what causes it if there is something. If it is delayed, but just give me a second. 
I can check. Okay, so here is the test. Oh yeah, there's definitely a delay. So, <laughs> I can't catch a break. Yeah, I did no I did notice the uh the music is pretty loud right now. So, I'll fix that as well. Um okay, so there was a little bit of delay, but hopefully one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, that should be a lot better. Um, at least we're finding this stuff out before we start the game. Exactly. So yeah, I apologize. There was a little bit of delay um, before starting. But we made our character, so let's go ahead and jump into the game and hopefully, hopefully everything works out. Because I don't really know. Tomorrow, um, depends on how tomorrow goes, but I might do a stream. Uh, the Back for Blood beta is out for this weekend. And I did get a key for it, so I might check it out. Next week, I think we're going to play Chernobylite. Where the light ends. So we'll see. But I'm shut up for now. A black blade shall split the sky. And Luminous will return to sow the seeds of shadow once more. Famine and decay will follow in her wake. And the lash of war will be unleashed. Cries of despair will fill the air and herald the coming of the undying. An ancient seal will be broken, and an army of chaos shall rise from the breach. Only a bearer of the lantern may be able to hold darkness at the door. The die has been cast, and Luminous awoken. Before the goddess of darkness can conquer all, Go forth and find the fragments of the gods. Nice. Uh, what is Back for Blood? Uh, yeah, it's basically, it's actually created by the old, original uh, Left 4 Dead developers. Or some of. Whoa, this actually looks pretty cool right here. All right, so before we do anything at all, settings gameplay user interface control graphics i guess we can't go into those maximized windowed sure we'll actually keep it maximized windowed frame rate they limit you you to 30 frames at first interesting audio thank god I've been at like 20% audio for like the last uh, 35 minutes or so. And turn the music volume down. Turn the NPC voice. Okay. Let's see how this works right here. Graphic settings are currently set to automatic. You can change them for smoother gameplay. Okay. Uh, let's leave it at normal for now. That's fine. 
as long as it doesn't break. Aiming. Whoa, control is interesting. I can't see anything. This game is free? Yes, it is free. Now, I do believe that there are a lot of... Well, we'll have to see, but I do believe there is quite a big, uh, like, loot box store and all of that stuff, since it is a free-to-play game. So, just be aware on that part. But there are some, I mean, MMOs, there are, nowadays, a lot of them do come out free-to-play, so it's not horrible. Uh, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. It is more of like an action um, style MMO, which is cool. <laughs> okay. So space is evade. I see now. Oh god. Now I'm, I'm kind of uh, not fully up on what's going on as far as combat here so like I, I get one I, I understand what I'm doing like just clicking but I'm not 100% sure I'm um See, like right here, that, that. Okay, so those are your combos. Different types of combos it gives you at least. And it tells you right there. Oh God. Who's that? I don't think I'm hitting him from back there. Oh, now I'm seeing, I'm thinking that I'm pressing F1, but my abilities are on the right side, not the left side. Oh God, F1 heals you. Okay, I see, I see now. All right, I feel a little bit better now. I was kind of getting nervous. I'm preparing a powerful attack too, even though I don't really know exactly what I'm doing. Other than now I'm, oh, you do all of those. Okay. Um, I see that OBS is kind of struggling, so I might change it into game capture mode. If you just press four.
There we go. Okay. Just throws us right into it. Installing bless. Oh, really? <laughs> that was quick. I, it's doing that thing where it's flashing, too. All right, so I think customized controls, strange dreams. All right, let me see if I can uh, change this over into game capture instead of sh uh, this one that it's currently in. One second, let's do options, settings, graphics. Let's actually change it to full screen this time. Yes, supply changes. Yes. Okay. Seems to be picking up the game now too, so one second. Boom, boom. Gameplay. Nice wallpaper, thank you. <laughs> Always gotta keep the wallpapers out, you know. Okay. Well, uh, we are in some sort of castle now. Hilarion Island. Is it on uh, on Xbox for or I mean uh, PlayStation for you, Dev? Interact with, speak with your childhood friend fully. But should I talk to this person? Oh, that was a dream. Huh. Follow Foy. Wait, this is Foy. Speak with Foy. Chance to look around the festival? Light this. Night flame. Yes, for yep. Started installing this and picked up this month's PS Plus games. Okay, nice. Hey there, sleepy. Do you still watch uh, mainly watch Twitch on uh your um PlayStation, you can turn on like quest quest guide on or off pressing G. Okay, so that's how you do this. I see that. We're going down this way. You have a most mysterious fate. Behold the day the moon retreats. You will receive the blessing of Helios, an invitation to see the world in strange but exciting new ways. Empty your consciousness, separate your perception from yourself. Oh. Okay. Uh, today I'm watching on my laptop, so there's no delay. Nice. There's one thing that's nice. Oh, there is. Um. But well, actually, I'm not sure if there is a way on PlayStation or any of the apps, but now. There is actually a way that you can watch uh, streams without um, without a delay anymore. Uh, now, when you're on, wait, is that quest cut? Oh, so if you press that, it turns quest cut off. Uh, it, when you're in your settings, there's a stream latency, low latency option um, on your phone and stuff. Yo, what's going on, Lethalios? Um, I'm not sure if you can build houses. I'm I'm very early on in this, so I'm, I am not 100% certain just yet. Like I'm super early on, like literally first like five minutes, five ten minutes after creating your character. Dude, this guy looks identical, and I actually saw him. This guy looks identical 
to Mario from Assassin's Creed 2. Like I I am talking that's that's exactly what I see. Uh Mario Alditori. It's literally him. Literally him. This is like wow. Uh in the fact that it's an MMO, possibly yes. But other than that, I have no idea. I, no, not uh, other than like combat and things like that. No, in that that respect, uh, it's more of like kind of like Black Desert Online combat style at least. Don Diego literally looks like. Whatever his name is, Mario from Assassin's Creed 2. Observe. Demonstrate strength. Uh, I supposed to do anything else? A little confusing on what you should do for your quest wise. Been looking for a new world to explore. Find the blessing of Helios in the plaza. Helios orb. There's one. Find a good place to eavesdrop. Aceless. The island is ripe. Yeah. Um interesting. How's it going? I mean this looks kind of cool. Are you enjoying the festival? Exit the temple. Don Diego. I mean, the game looks pretty. Who are these guys? Oh, state your business. Got a giant dice. Or die. So, this is where you've been hiding. 
Gideon! Do you remember how we parted all those years ago? It was the will It's of out of sync. Of course it was. My god, however, desire something different. I swear, this time it's not me with the audio you desync. Weak to me, huh? Unless if it's another language. And they just put in. They're welcome to try. Oof. Yeah, where are we? A good question. Defeat the hellhounds attacking. I wish you could hide this thing over on the left side, like that shows your combos and only have it show while you're like actually in combat. I wonder if there is a way you could do that. Bless pass matchmaking. Matchmaking lobby dungeons, trials, class skills, lumina shop, options, settings, gameplay. Big slots, hide HUD. User interface, tutorial notifications. I don't know. I'll leave it as is for now. Increases your oh my god, I just pressed so many things there. I don't know what C does, and I don't know what V does. I don't even know what my number one does, and I'm not even hitting them. But I want you to press and hold that. Interesting. So if I press C. Oh, it makes new arrows. It gives you a boost in arrows when you press C. It's like. I should be able to close this out. One second. Nice. Hey, 
Are you all right? Thank Telios, you're alive. Wait, what happened to Priest Mia? Where is she? Another voice joins our chorus of death. I definitely thought that they were the good guys at first. <laughs> There's some parts the frame rate is like super smooth and then there's other parts where it's like not so much. Um, I kind of get confused on that. But otherwise, I mean, it's not. It also flickers a lot. All right. And I think uh, now we are in the public area. I... Yes. Yep. We see the other people here as well. Oh, one second. Interesting. Yep. You can see other people. All of that. Um. Hold on for just a second here, chat. I am going to actually uh, run to the bathroom real quick. I'm going to try and feed Kiara, and then we shall continue. So I will be right back in like two minutes or so. I'll even leave it on this. You know what? I'll, I'll leave it on this screen here. So that way you can just see the environment and enjoy the world. And I think there's also an... All right. Here we go. Let's get back to it. Uh, so if we hit, there's some sort of something in your bag, I guess. Equipment. Let's mark with that. Oh God. Okay, with that. And you can see all your other stuff over here. Okay, I see. Bound to account. Can't obtain. Okay. Applied effect. Six days. Gain XP bonuses. All that. Okay. This I have two things in the mail. Okay, there's a mailbox over there. Nothing I see. comes easy in this world. Right. Once we get over way. there, we'll go open that. Thanks. Okay. Clapping. Okay. Let's hit up the mailbox, I guess. Check mail. And that. Use it, I guess. We press I for your inventory. Chest piece. Leg piece. Consumables. Launch celebration gift. Item obtained. Golden fleece, 20% discount. PVE combat boost. Bonus mining ticket. Recovery scroll. Orange dye, white dye. This game kind of reminds me of uh, Arcade Online. A little bit. Or Archage Unchained. I don't know why I said online. I really played the free to play version. But what I did pay the pay to win version. Or pay to play <laughs> version, not pay to win. 
That game is dead now, too. It's pretty bad. It's very bad, actually. No, this is bad. Oh, God, I didn't mean to shoot it. Okay. Um, new beginnings. Sure, let's follow this for now. Gather stuff. It's very, like, the UI, I don't know what it is, but, like, trying to read the UI is just, like, difficult. I just, I don't really understand why, either. Because I, I get I what they're to trying say. to do, like, the colors and everything. But, I don't know, it just it's seems harder than way. it should be. Whoops. Okay. This. May the forest guide your path. May the forest guide your path. Oh, yes. Okay, talk to Giovanni. Talk to Marco. Did you want they to stay with the something? markers over their head. Yes, that's all I need. Okay, now talk to Giovanni. Okay, now talk to Marco. Great. Uh, nope. Okay. Wait. Eliminate the wolves. There's four wolves. Can I see what my abilities actually do? Okay, that's three. I mean, that's two. I keep pressing E to loot. Okay. That was a world event, I think. Skills. You have one skill point. Skills and upgrade skills. Okay, here we go. Now we can actually see them. Uh, fires an arrow that shoots a shockwave to target an enemy. You can execute a finishing attack while inputting a an additional command while the enemy is airborne. Increase damage by that. Okay. Light lightning arrow. Quickly fire multiple arrows. Okay. We had this ability at first, but we lost it because I guess I don't know. <laughs> they de-rank you, I guess. Uh, okay, so those are your two abilities, I guess. Sure, we can upgrade this one. Can we upgrade twice? Where does it show your equipment that you use for upgrade? Oh, okay, SP. Wait, did we even upgrade this one? Oh, it's, it's asking to equip it. Uh, press and hold space to upgrade it. There it is. Combos. Okay, that's where it shows all that. Got that. That class skills. Okay, so reload fully. Uh, refills your quiver and adds a additional 30 special arrows. You're able to move while uh, your quiver is being refilled and the damage cancels the attack or the action. This is automatically activated after one second after consuming all arrows and tempest shot grabber. Gather your strength to summon a magical arrow that with devastating force the longer you hold this charge the more damage it will deal okay see that now too tendons this is your daily login stuff okay i see i see my i'm getting the the gist of this here i'm understanding what's going on i see just about how it works. Where's my mouse? Can't see my mouse. Back. I literally cannot see my mouse. You can't see your mouse. At all. Low, 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 and low.
Go to this thing? No, this way. Cars a quarter of loads. Roads. Whoa. There's so many people. Somebody's down. Jeez. Combo attacks are unlocked and improved. Wait, do we have a cheer? Lol. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna walk away. That's embarrassing, dude. Why don't they do that? to equip okay um do we even like get a quest for that or do we kind of just do that out of free will oh we did <laughs> we did definitely Looked away, sorry. Realtor text to me, so I looked away for a second. Oh god! Ah! Help! 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 No. Oh no, dude. resurrection or raster barry thank you raster barry defeat the wolf king Reload real quick. F1 for our heals. Nice. Okay. Now we can hand this in. Okay, so we probably should have picked that up beforehand, but that's all right. Like a million other people here right now, so it's not horrible. Reward options. Increase attack speed, critical rate. Yeah, I'll take that one. Critical rate damage. Skill point gained. Okay, yeah, it's skill points. Um Sure, we can upgrade this one. Okay. Attendance. No. Oh, attendance streak. 30 minutes. Okay. 30 minute lock in thing. Every like few, few minutes or so, you probably get another reward. Okay.
Okay. Um, what do we have here? the attacked uh delivery man wait <laughs> oh my god see i'm like thinking i'm supposed to be over here doing this but no i'm supposed to be all the way down there but this is another side quest so we'll do this real quick uh episodes are optional storylines hidden throughout the world bring brains from near green snot uh getting blown up again right now uh, i should just put my phone on do not disturb like all night investigate okay just as a forewarning chat I don't, I don't know how long tonight's stream is gonna be um of course, I, I, I'm happy to be back and everything, but I, I don't know how, how much I'm feeling tonight's stream either. Um, I know we, well, actually, we've almost been live for two hours, almost. Feels more like 30 minutes, though. Um, we might be having people over and stuff, too, so. There's that as well. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I don't know. We'll, we'll play a little bit longer here. A W button. Interesting. Kills. You can upgrade. Uh, now what? We'll do this one this time. This other one requires two. Uh, pull wagon. Yeah, pull it. <laughs> <laughs> you can see <laughs> he still keeps walking to the right. Pull the potato. Pull. Wait. Pull it again. All right. There you go. Start campaign. Shadows of the Unforeseen. That's number two right here. F. Go to Arzakor Harbor. Fish merchant. Really, really reminds me a lot of um, Black Desert Online, too. So talk to the oh I walked right past them. Alright, tell me what I need to do before this person attacks me. It's gonna pull me out. Yeah, it is. That's not bad. Got decent killer right there. Okay, fend off angry citizens. The heck? chocobo <laughs> back there we're out of stamina very small stamina bar wait are they actually all cleared out now oh they are that's kind of cool let's um let's stick to the main path right now L post has been activated okay i'm assuming that's the fast travel points to this
Sure, actually, you know, I'll piss off whatever. If it's on the way, that's fine. What is this? Oh, that's another person. They have a question mark over their head. So I was confused. Wow, we really run low on stamina. Jeez. Is that, am I supposed to run out of stamina like this? Welcome, friendo. What the heck? Quest complete. How's it going, pal? What are you? There's also another one right here. Old. Bard. Wandering puppy. Oh, that's cute. You arrived at the waypoint. You gonna give me like a 30 minute buff or something? Go to the bard. No whining. Look for someone who wants wine. Okay. Lots of uh, cutscenes like this, too. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. Vega, do you want wine? Are you whining for some wine? Oh my god, he has a quest too. It's weird the icon doesn't come up right away after you pick it up. Oh, all right, let's just skip this line back there. Um, can't tell which way we need to go. So this way, this way, yep. I'm on duty now. I'm on duty now. Me too, friend. Move the fish crates inside the... Thing. Oh, whoops. I let go too early. No, don't tell me it's this slow. Oh, dude. How are you that slow? That's just slow for the sake of being slow. His footsteps aren't even matching up. Bro, what? He's like moon. You can literally moonwalk this whole thing. No way. Wait, why? How is that person moving so much faster? Wait, why am I actually going so slow? I can't... Wait, why is everybody moving so much faster than me? Am I walking? Wait. There has to be a button to walk. Uh, controls. No, not controller settings. He binds mouse. When would I have pressed it though? Auto run, toggle walk slash run. It's when I try typing. Oh my god.
I was gonna say, there's no way. That's so bad. Okay, I'm glad I figured that out now, though. Jeez. That would have been an absolute pain. Finding out, like, 20 hours down the line. I thought we were walking really slow. But I wasn't, like, 100% sure. Alright, Rogers. Be quick, I'm on duty. Be quick, I'm on duty. Okay. Uh, hires that you can easily move around cities by using metropolitan teleposts. It's actually kind of cool. This is it. Good luck. Okay. The guard's not going to help us. Rangers can use Tempest Shot and something else. At least there's a ton of, like, tutorials that they show you sometimes. Oh, shoot. I need to reload. It was. It's interesting that it actually requires you to reload. So, we're just, uh, we're... A few minutes shy of um, the two-hour mark in this game so far. Um, probably a little bit less because I did like my intro and stuff, so I don't know how long this is actually end going to end up being. Um, just first impressions and things like that. I mean, game looks good. Um, the ca combat can be pretty fun, I think. I, I think there's a lot of potential to it. The thing that I'm worried about most is this seems like the type of game that could easily become pay to win. Um, especially when I died, I this think it gave you an option to pay for a revive. But still can't get over the fact that that guy looks exactly like Mario from Assassin's Creed 2. Fascinating. I did not believe this necklace could be so easily destroyed. Perhaps it is no small coincidence you managed to survive the tragedy on Talarian. Hmm. Yar, why would you come in here if you're just gonna cry? Go, go, open the door, open the door. What, what did I just hit? I help you with something. Hey, Kyar. Why did you come in here if you're just gonna cry? Um. So yeah, like I was saying, first impressions. I mean, it seems cool. Looks good. Um. Combat, I don't know. For right now, I th I think I'm gonna chill on this game though. Um, glad at least jumping into it. I don't know, maybe like I'm just not in the mood for it right now. I mean, I, I wanted to at least try it. Um, tonight I'm I'm gonna call it right here. I know it's like super early, but there's now potentially other stuff going on tonight, anyways. So. Um, also, I love how we're in the English channel and there's tons of other chan uh, languages talking. So that's kind of funny too. But uh, here, let's look at this like last thing. Punisher costume set. Bundles, mounts, weapons, cards, coupons, codes. Uh, that's what we got recovery scroll gift ticket yeah so you can literally buy if you go down you can use scrolls to revive you and other stuff so i mean i don't know i don't know how well this game's gonna do down the line things like that 
um always i would recommend if you do think it looks interesting give it a try yourself see if you like it um personally i think if i was going to play like an action rpg mmo right this second i probably would jump into neverwinter again that's what this is making me think of like mmo wise it's making me think of uh neverwinter because that's a game that i do want to jump back into same thing with final fantasy 14 um but as far as like a, an mmo that it actually feels like it's kind of like a mix between arc age unchained and black desert online which i've basically gotten to the point with black desert online i put that game down and i'm like yeah it's just it's just not worth it the l l grind is too much all that for me personally um but who knows maybe this will turn out to be a lot better than what it is and maybe i'll revisit it i don't know um but i wanted to at least get like a part one out for this and and see how it does and then kind of take it from there um so yeah um coming upcoming games chernobylite definitely i'll be playing that probably sometime next week um this weekend is the closed beta for back for blood so if i can i'll hop on tomorrow and play some of that for a bit um see how that goes i think there's also drops and things like that uh so yeah we can we can at least try that out um but other than that that's i'm gonna chill right here for the rest of the day so as always thank you for those of you that came by first stream back in like a week or so so um next week we should have a, a good amount coming up still looking for houses and things like that so for the future it might be pretty iffy on streams but twitter discord uh youtube the, that's where like all my other stuff is at in the meantime when i'm not on twitch so that's where i will be